The member for Morton has the call. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Small Business. Would the Minister update the House on how the government is supporting small business with targeted tax cut? And what would be the consequences for small business if these tax cuts were removed? The Minister for Small Business has the call. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Speaker. I thank the member for Morton for his question and his advocacy on behalf of the 19,000 small businesses in Morton. And the Order. Deputy Speaker, the efforts of Australia's three million business owners employ around 4.8 million Australians and contribute around 20 per cent of our economy. And that's why this government has taken concrete action to support small business. Of course, we've lifted the tax-free threshold, which is a tax cut for every unincorporated business in Australia. And very importantly, the government has increased the instant asset write-off threshold from $1,000 to $6,500, which will be worth more than $1 billion this year alone. Speaker. And this means increased and improved cash flow and less red tape for small business. And of course, we're also providing other tax relief. The government has introduced tax loss carryback, which encourages innovation and productivity improvements and provides more certainty. And the majority of the 110,000 small uh, businesses that will benefit from this speaker are in fact small, small businesses. These are some of the positive things that the government has done, concrete action taken by the government on behalf of small business. And I'm asked by the honourable member what the consequences would be of reversing these cuts. And all honourable members would be concerned by the coalition's plan to reverse measures associated with the MRRT and with the carbon price. Reversing these cuts would be a blow to small business cash flow. Reversing these cuts would be a blow to steps to reduce the red tape burden on small business. Any opposition which reverses these cuts is a false friend to small business. They, Mr. Uh, Speaker, they can walk the talk the talk about small business. They can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk when it comes to small business. This is an opposition in no position to lecture the government about, about small business. And I'm not the only one Order. who thinks this, Speaker. I'm not the only one who thinks this. The Council of Small Business thinks it too. This is what they say about the opposition. We stated our concern last year that there are still people in the Liberal Party who believe that all small businesses vote for the coalition and therefore there is no need to do anything special for the small business community. We still have that concern. This is Cosboa. It's time that the whole of the coalition came to recognise that small businesses and independent contractors are in fact a mainstay of the economy and need fairness and transparency in policy and process. That's what Cosboa says about the Liberal Party, the once friend of small business. Cosboa says about the government, the level of interest and dialogue is welcomed and is a recognition from the government that we count as citizens of Australia. That is what the government believes.